Hello, fabulous Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February 2019. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have a very active sky this month. Key meetings of power players are going to encourage us really to be honest with ourselves about where we are and how we feel about it in at least one area of life. You add to this a really fun new moon early in the month and a very empowered and yes for you in particular fun as well full moon in the later part of the month well there's a lot to look forward to here but i want to start with what is happening in the days around valentine's day that really is when we are going to have a lot of important celestial activity taking place rare celestial activity for that matter we will have a meeting of Mars and Uranus at the very top of your sky. Now these two planets do get together once every two years in this way. However, this is the last time in our lifetimes likely they are going to meet in this part of the sky because it is going to be next month that Uranus moves on, moves into a new part of the sky, a new sign. And it's going to be about 80 years or so before Uranus comes back around uh, to the very top of your sky. So for a lot of us out there, this is really the last time in our lifetimes we're going to have this rare alignment in this part of our sky. And for you, this really is about a whole new pathway, a breakthrough, if you will, an alignment, if you will, with a higher, more loving vision for your life. Now, for some, this is going to be a time of leap forwards and leaps into your future where it comes to your career, your social standing. Now, what I mean by that is this could be anything from an award to a reward. <laughs> this could be uh, you truly feeling like a lot of the hard work, especially since the beginning of the decade, has now paid off in big ways. But for other people, this is going to be a moment of honesty that might be a little less comfortable, a little less elated. And I'm sorry to say, but if I'm being really straightforward with you, for some people out there, this can be some discomfort where it comes to your understanding of what it is that you are meant to do and the career path that you are on. If it is that you are on the right career path for you for this point in your life, the likelihood of you making huge progress at this time becomes that much more likely. But if it is that you have not been on the path that really is the one that feels like it's in alignment with a higher, more loving vision for your life, well, this is where you will abruptly come to realize this. So for some, this could be new career paths opening up and exciting you, new opportunities coming and elating you. And yet for others, this could be really realizing that you are meant to go in a whole other way or life showing you that there is a better path out there for you than the one that you are on. Keep in mind, interview situations, audition situations can really go in all kinds of directions with this energy. Uh, so just be prepared uh, for things to take a turn for the unexpected at times. I would also add with this that there is a very powerful, very elated sense at this time that you are moving in a direction of clarity as to what it is that you're meant to do, the legacy that you are creating. And this could be part of what facilitates change for you now. Also this month, we've got important lunar activity Right around the fourth of the month, we are going to have a very friendly new moon that I think a lot of people are going to love. This new moon will be speaking in harmony with Jupiter. The sun, of course, with the new moon will also be speaking in harmony with Jupiter and Mercury hanging out with this new moon. Also, harmony with Jupiter. Lots of fun, active, talkative, friendly energy in the air. But the thing is for you that this is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with a few different things. But one of the things it has to do with is your relationship with financial institutions. If there is any kind of important ask that you have of a financial institution, any kind of changes you're trying to make or funding that you're trying to access, this would be a great time to do it in the first couple of weeks of this uh, month. Now, I would also add, given what's coming up later, the ruling planet of the sign of Aquarius, where this new moon is taking place, meeting Mars in the sky, it could very well be that some source of funding opens up for you. And that 
facilitates the change in career direction. So keep that in mind that there is this affinity, this connection that is there between the new moon in the early part of the month and mid-month with Uranus meeting Mars. But that's one way to take advantage of this energy is to look into financial matters. You could get some very good news on that front, whether it's accessing funds uh, or whether it's uh, understanding how it is that you can tap into the resources that you have now to facilitate change. This part of the sky is also connected to profound personal honesty and the kind of honesty that can leave you feeling different and for the better. And this is going to be one of those times where you're able to reflect very deeply and to create change from the inside out. In being honest with yourself, you may find many of your interactions transformed as a result. Now, what I also find really powerful about this part of the sky is it has to do with wealth and expanding your understanding of wealth and what that is for you. And I think very often we get caught up in this idea of numbers in our bank equating uh, wealth, the numbers in our pay stubs equating to wealth. But the truth is, is that, and I have seen this again and again, you can have people that have got high numbers in a bank, but spiritually, emotionally, where it comes to the people who care about them, it's not imbalanced, it's not proportional. And then you've also got people who've got a lot of prosperity on both fronts, but you've also got people who understand that it is secondary, the numbers and, and how we deal with that. And what matters most is those relationships we have, is the state of our emotions, is the state of our spirit, because it is there that true wealth is found. And very often what happens in life is when you focus more on those emotional and spiritual types of wealth that you are blessed with, when you focus more on how much abundance your life actually has, you find that the numbers in the bank account can sometimes, can often start to reflect that growth in your appreciation. But having said that, this is a time where you get to heal any types of emotional uh, things that may be there that keep you from recognizing the prosperity that you do have in your life. And in this way, this can be a truly empowered time but on a very immediate level, I do think that there are going to be a lot of Cancerians out there who get some really good financial news at this time. Now, as we move further into the month, right around the 19th of the month, we are going to have a full moon. Now, this is a friendly full moon that is speaking in supreme harmony with Mars. There's a lot of excitement and energy around this time. Now, this full moon is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with a few things. Siblings, cousins, neighbors are highlighted here. You should expect to have a lot of fun with these people and enjoy your interactions with them. This part of the sky also has to do with communications of all kinds. And so when I see such a friendly full moon, it's like finally getting a message that delights you. And that could be professional and it could be personal. Now, this part of the sky, in addition to all this, has to do with learning. And so any kind of a workshop or book signing, any type of short learning event that you participate in can end up being particularly rewarding and also fun. When we have Mars speaking with a full moon like this in supreme harmony, in what astrologers call a trine, it incorporates the fun factor, especially if you bring in and incorporate your friends into your learning journey and decide to do that together. Now, finally, it is Venus that is very active this month as well. From the mid to the late part of the month, that is when it is this Venusian energy in your opposite sign that is going to speak volumes to what is happening with your connection with another person or your understanding of your one-on-one -on -one alliances. Venus will meet Saturn in the sky, meet Pluto, meet the south node in the sky. And this means ultimately these three placements have a lot of nuance to them, certainly. But at the end of the day, what this means is honesty. It means understanding what the reality of a situation is, understanding the truth of what you really want where it comes to another person, and understanding the karmic journey that you may have with another person. Now, for some of you, this is going to bring powerful closures, realizing what isn't working and allowing it to come to a karmic close, knowing that this person has served 
their purpose in your life. But for others, this is going to be putting certain chapters behind you so that you can commit that much more deeply to this person. So for some of you, this is gonna play out in terms of your business alliances. This can be a powerful time where it comes to the alliances you have with other people on a business front. If you have somebody that you interact with regularly for your shared prosperity, this is gonna be a defining time. It's all or nothing. And if it is that this person in your honest evaluation is someone who adds to your journey going forward, you will know it. But if it is that this person is not adding to that journey going forward, you will know that as well and you will be able to allow it to come to a healthy close. Now, for some of you out there, this is gonna play out in the context of love. In fact, I would say for most Cancerians out there, this plays out in the context of love. Now, for those of you who are open to meeting someone new, this is very powerful, almost faded attractions to another person that allow you to get to a place of being honest with yourself about where you are in love and why. And that becomes part of facilitating some meaningful change within you. For those of you getting to know somebody, this is very all or nothing. You see the truth of this person in the middle of the month. You see what's really going on uh, under the nuances, under any kind of masks. You see the reality of what they do, what that tells you about this person. And from there, you'll get to decide if this is a connection that you are all in with or not. What I also really like about this though, is that you'll see the pattern playing out. The the usefulness of this moment so that you can decide if this is a pattern you want to continue or not. Now, if this is, if you've attracted somebody and you realize in a moment that, you know what, really, I love myself a lot and now I realize I've attracted this person because I do value and love myself and this person is showing me a level of care that allows me to affirm that I love myself, well, that's you breaking a pattern, realizing that you've changed the types of people that you draw into your life. However, it can also go the other way as well, right? So it is about you staying honest with you and understanding that this is the type of sky that says you're either all in or you're going in a new direction. For those of you who are in an established bond, this is a, a powerful, very defining time for those of you in an established bond. Now this is true like generally because we are having 2019, 2020 big things happening in your opposite sign. But I would say for this month in particular, this is gonna show you what is up ahead for you for this year and how you really feel about it where it is that you are truly with this person and honestly evaluating the future that you may have with them or not having a future with them. And it is about you understanding the karmic purpose of this alliance a little bit more deeply than you did before. Now, we are in a time right now, 2019, 2020, these are powerful years. Anyone who is meant to be a part of your journey and your future will find themselves to you. Anyone who's not meant to be part of your journey and your future, it will be abundantly clear. And sometimes you really are not gonna have a choice. It'll just be the universe letting you know and taking care of it. And so this is one of those months where you get to understand what could be coming up, where it is that your heart really wants to be, whom it is that you really do trust and want to align with. You will get powerful insights into the level of commitment that you share with this person and where it is that you believe the two of you will continue to move together. What I love about this month for you, it's gotta be Venus in your opposite sign. I think that that's just really nice for interacting with people and finding that people want to align with you and just feeling that other people are the bearers of sweetness and softness and gifts and generosity in your life. If this month says anything to me is that if you have a big favor to ask, if you're trying to be influential, if you're trying to align with somebody, you've actually got some very powerful energy here for making alliances that feel powerfully faded. You've got some very important energy here this month that says not only will you find it particularly busy in the early part of the month, but also really fun as people run into you, rush into you and all around you 
truly want to share a moment of kindness and a moment of love with you. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.